Hello and welcome back. Today we're working on a premium patch cable. For this project, you'll need a high quality cable and some low profile right angle cable ends. I'm using a low noise flexible cable from Germany. But before we begin, let's take a closer look at a cheaper alternative. This is a house brand cable that usually costs around $5. The wound shield isn't too bad, but it is missing an inner semiconductive layer for extra shielding. The inner conductor is also not bad for this price point. A big issue I see is inside the cable end where there's no shielding at the solder point. This can allow interference into the cable, and in a high gain scenario, it could cause trouble. First, we need to cut our patch cable to length. Anywhere from six to eight inches is ideal. Next, we need to mark how much insulation to strip. Heavy outer insulation is easily stripped with an X-Acto blade. The important thing is not to cut into any of the outer wire strands. If you have a pair of heavy duty wire strippers, that works too. Practice on some less expensive cable before doing this on your good cable. Next, I like to use a trick I've seen used in many vintage preamp designs. Unbraid the outer shield with a wood pick. Then, separate the shield strands into two groups. Twist one group around the other, then solder that joint. If you now have a conductor that is easier to fit into your cable end contacts. I'll show you a different method for the other end. Now you must remove the inner semiconductive shield layer before proceeding. Measure how much insulation must be stripped away from the inner conductor. Carefully trim away the insulation, again being very careful not to nick any internal wires. I like to use an old guitar pedal to hold my cable ends while I solder. Gently pull up the contacts for easy installation. Insert the wire and wrap the wire for good electrical connection. Solder quickly. Now do the same for the shield wire. The joints should be shiny and somewhat flexible. Double check and remove any stray wires. Carefully push your contacts back into place. Now install your back cover and screw it tightly into place.
For the other end, we'll do everything similarly, but I'll show you one more trick I've learned from working on vintage professional gear. Instead of making two groups from the shield, we'll make one. And we'll tightly wrap a silver tinned wire around that shield and solder it into place. Trim away the excess. Solder that wire onto the shield. Now you have two wires that will be easy to install. Trim away excess wire and insert into the ground contact. Tightly install your outer case and you're done. This flexible, low-profile cable is perfect for your pedal board.
If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and tell us what you think in the comment section. If you'd like to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications. Thanks for watching.